You won't believe this about Sabrina Carpenter. I am actually in love with one of your family members. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, right? Because when I first heard this, I couldn't believe this. Your aunt is the voice of Bart Simpson. Yes. A very niche, uh, fun fact. Um, that is... Nancy. Amazing. It's pretty wild, isn't it? Yeah, and runs you know, in the family, I guess. Yeah, so by relation, I am also a legend. Yeah. Um, and no, absolutely not. Not even close. But I will say that, like, my whole life, like, that was just, like, you know, the coolest thing in the world to me. I wasn't even really allowed to watch the show until I was a little bit older. Mm. Um, but, yeah, I mean, the, the, the woman is a woman of many talents, not just Bard. And, like, she always blows me away. And she was Ralph. Like, That's Nelson. That, yeah, Ralph. Nelson, all of them, all Martin. Them. Ridiculous. Maggie, not Maggie. That that's like the, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean, but just the fleshy noises. Yeah. Um, that is amazing, yeah, though. That's a great yeah. car. That is a great car. We were at like a restaurant, and like and she didn't do it all the time, but there was like a couple times where we couldn't get a table, and she was like, "I'm not gonna do it." She was like, "Hey, man, I'm Bart Simpson. Like, what the hell's going on?" And oh. like, oh. <laughs> that's incredible. That is did, have, Sabrina, have you never been tempted to try and get yourself a little cameo in there? It never crossed my mind until right this second. But yeah, oh. I will make a call after this. That's mine. No. <laughs> um, it's Roman's no, dream. That'd be that. so cool. I've, I've done a bit of voiceover over the years. I mean, nothing even close to that. But like, I mean, it's one of my favorite things in the world. So I think that'd be really sick. It's yeah. crazy. It is absolutely Have crazy. Have my eye on you. What is your niece? What does Sabrina think of it all? Well, I got to tell you something about Sabrina. This it, this came as a total surprise to me, just kind of out of nowhere, in, in that you sort of hijacked her her interview. And, you know, talking about me and <laughs> watching her, I don't, I, like three minutes or something, and I'm like, oh, my gosh. And she was so incredibly gracious. And she's, she's adorable. And I'll tell you about Sabrina Carpenter. I, I've known her since she was about eight, really, since she was that, like – Eight years old and her grandmother married my dad mm. right so, okay yeah it's it's that we're not related by blood but sabrina you know just got to know her and she was breaking into hollywood and she and her family would come and stay at my house and just live here where i live and kind of just helping her get going because pilot season and helping her out with that you know introduced her to um an agency and yeah managed- and stuff like that and just you know she's got to hold her own no doubt about it but this kid i will tell you about her since she was six years old her passion was to work with disney and that's all she really wanted so when america's got talent happened and the voice happened and all this she's like nope nope and she was a hundred percent committed to doing it the way that she really wanted to do it she wanted to work with disney so after you know hitting the pavement and doing auditions and she got a few jobs there she landed girl meets world yeah and it's like she hit the mother load and she was off and they signed her on a contract and meanwhile cultivating everything that she and her family had supported her to do you know she she did it she made it on her own and i have no doubt in my mind at some point sabrina carpenter and maybe i'll be the first to say this she will be i don't know what it's called a quad a quad hyphenate <laughs> wow. emmy, emmy oscar tony and grammy wow she, oh, yeah, that, yeah. i'm not kidding she is that talented